Hey everybody, welcome to Insight Tennis, Power Secrets of the Pros series. My name is Rick Oldroyd, I'm the president and founder of Insight Tennis. I'm also the head pro. I am a USPTA certified professional and I've been teaching uh, tennis for over 20 years. And today we want to talk to you a little bit about the backhand slice but specifically give you some some tips and some pointers of how you can create more pace and more depth on your slice and also have that ball stay really low and penetrate the court so that it becomes an offensive shot rather than just a shot that that allows you to stay in the point or get back into the point if you notice uh, Federer uses this uh, offensively all the time uh, Murray's got a great slice. There's several several players out there that have very offensive uh, backhand slices, and instead of just staying in the point or or uh, you know a neutral rally ball, if you will, they're actually taking control of the point. Whether whether they're you know bringing a player in or hitting it down the line with with pace. And that ball, if it stays really, really low the way it's supposed to, if it's properly hit and executed in terms of the biomechanics, it's a very difficult ball to handle for your opponent. Um, they have to hit up because the ball is only this far off the ground. It's skidding and it's penetrating the court if it's done right. So we're going to talk about one of the power secrets that the pros use to create more pace. Now, if no one's ever told you about this, you probably won't see it. Um, it's something that's that's very subtle, but every single pro in the world does it. So here's what it is. Um, I, I call this one of the power secrets of the pros. If you've ever watched the top professionals, when they take the racket back on a backhand slice, they have different variations of backswing. And I'm not gonna advocate one is better than another. It doesn't really matter. You just got to get that shoulder turned and get your racket at least back to this position here, right? There are some who take it back further, some shorter. Uh, there's different variations of that, but the concept that I'm about to teach you is the same. Once they get into this position and they're ready to execute the slice, what you're going to see, and this is the power secret, is the racket will travel back, rotate slightly, and then come down into the ball as a product of the momentum of the swing, initiating the swing. So instead of having the racket here and then just coming down into the ball, there's a little move here where they take the racket here and they go back further. So watch carefully, back further, there's a slight rotation and down into the ball. Make contact with the ball. This little move, that little piece right there creates tremendous power. You won't believe the power that it creates the first time you try this. So this is going to be something that's going to be really simple for you to practice. Have someone uh, even toss you a ball. You don't even have to have them hit it. Just have them toss you a ball in front of you and what you're going to want to do is take your racket back to here and as the ball's coming off the ground you're going to release the racket back and drop it down on the ball. Okay? Don't worry about follow through. Don't worry about all that right now. Just get a feeling of this of this release back and down onto the ball. Knifing down onto the ball. What's going to happen is the ball's just going to explode off your strings. Now, if you look at it from the side, you're going to see why this creates so much power. Yes, the yes the swing is down but it's also going forward. So watch from the side. If I'm here and I rotate back and I come down, notice that my racket is coming down onto the ball and I'm making contact with the ball here, but my racket is also traveling, as you can see, forward slightly. And that's gonna create boom. Here, boom. Here, notice that I'm rotating back and then bang, down on the ball. So from the side, it looks like this. I'm going to take the racket here, release back, bang. Now, the follow through obviously is over here, as we've talked about in other videos, not out in front of you like is, is widely taught and, and even believed, but that's a subject for another, another discussion. 
So again, this little power move is exactly that, a huge source of power on the backhand slice. So if you want your slice to not only be heavy and penetrate the court, this is the key. You can hit a slice almost as hard as you can hit a ground stroke when you get this down. It is tremendous power. So once again, in review, you're going to take your racket back at least to this position so you get that good shoulder turn, right? And then before you swing, the racket travels back, rotates slightly, and bang, down onto the ball. So here is what it looks like. Boom. Okay? Here. Boom. Now, once you feel this and the ball just explodes off your strings, then you'll it'll click in your mind and you'll go, oh, that's exactly what he's talking about. So again, hopefully this is gonna be helpful for you. Uh, next time you're out there, remember soft hands on the racket, squeeze at impact, and drop it down. This little move is critical. Right here, release it back, rotate slightly down onto the ball, and then bang, through. Hopefully that's gonna be helpful for you if you like this video. Please click the link below. Subscribe to our channel, Insight Tennis. Also, visit the website at insighttennis.com. Uh, I always bring attention to this on the website. There's a section, a video analysis section, that we encourage you, if you're struggling with any part of your game, and you uh, feel like you've kind of hit a plateau, and you, you just seem to, you're not able to get any better. Um, in my over 20 years of experience teaching this game, I have found uh, more often than not, with very few exceptions, that is related to, to biomechanics, um, either improper understanding of biomechanics or execution of biomechanics. And if we can help you to understand a little bit better what you need to be doing, uh, and you can implement that, it's going to improve your game. Always we will respect your privacy. We're not going to put your videos out online if you don't want them out online but we do want to help you. So send in your videos, uh, like the video uh, if you like it, subscribe to the channel, share uh, the channel as well, and uh, visit our website at insighttennis.com. As always, thank you for your time, and until next time, we'll see you out there on the court.